Hey YouTube, happy Saturday and welcome back to another episode of Comps and Stuff. Uh, I guess it would be happy second Saturday because now I'm just posting once every other, every other week. Um, so thank you guys for, uh, uh, I guess, working with that change. I'm going to move the microphone just a little closer so you can hear me better. How's that? Okay, good, good. So, uh, today is a bit of a funny video. I am going to be talking about Roy... Lichtenstein or Lichtenstein? I say Lichtenstein, tomato, tomato. I don't know how you guys say it. If you want to correct me in the comments below, um, you know, correct me. Uh, but I've been calling him Roy Lichtenstein this entire time. The reason I want to talk about him is because the other day I was looking at some of his art because I'm weird and I look at things. Um, and I realized one of them uh, was, you know, I, I realized some of them looked like uh, shots from DC War comics that I had seen before. So I Googled it, and then I eBayed it, and there was a, a romance comic that said, you know, inspired Roy Lichtenstein panel. And then I went down the rabbit hole and found that there was a lot of pieces um, by Roy Lichtenstein that were directly inspired by panels from DC Comics. Um, now, I knew that there was comic book inspiration, duh, but I didn't realize that they were specifically from actual DC published comic books until I saw the one that was on eBay. And then I stumbled upon a whole bunch of others that I was like, oh yeah, I know exactly what those are. So um, I just wanted to cover some of the pieces that Roy, it's kind of like a fun list um, of pieces that Roy Lichtenstein directly pulled from DC Comics. And I was actually reading an article. It turns out that none of the artists that did these pieces that Roy Lichtenstein pulled were necessarily happy that he did. Um, but in any case, that's, I, I digress. Uh, first we're going to start with the one that I discovered, which is Secret Hearts number 83, um, which is a romance comic from DC and it inspired two pieces. One, there was Drowning Girl and two, there was Hopeless. Um, the next book that he pulled from was Secret Hearts number 88 and that one inspired Oh, All Right and Crying Girl. Now, he did more than one crying girl. I'm not sure which one this technically is, if this is number one or if there's two or three or whatever. I just know that there's more than one. Um, next, Girls Romance number 78. And this inspired the piece In the Car. Excuse me. Uh, and then we have Girls Romance number 81, which uh, did We Rose Up Slowly. And then uh, here's one of my favorites, uh, Our Fighting Forces, number 71, which inspired Torpedo, Los, which um, I actually have the actual comic book. So um, I'm going to try I'm going to do a little sequence here and you can see the original panel compared to the art piece and see what's the difference between the two. See how he changed them up. Um, yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to buy this book a couple weeks ago. So anyways, I digress. Uh, next is Star Spangled War Stories, number 102, which inspired Crack. And fun fact, that character is Mademoiselle Marie, who is a DC wartime character, like a recurring character, and uh, is known as the character who had a child with Alfred Pennyworth. Fun fact. Uh, next, we have Amer or All American Men of War number 89. Now, this one inspired three pieces. One of them is a duptic. Uh, there was Bratata, like that one guy that used to be famous on social media, br media Bratata, you know, that guy, so Bratata. And then Wham, which is a duptic. It's two separate pieces. I would assume they're called Wham number one and Wham number two. Uh, and then Blam, uh, which is Blam. And then the last piece of this video is All American Wind of War number 90, which uh, inspired As I Opened Fire. Um, and there's there's that. So those are, those are pieces of art or pop art that were um, done by Roy Lichtenstein that were inspired by actual DC Comics panels. Um... And yeah, I just thought I would share that with everybody. I found it interesting, and I'm sure that somebody else in the world will find that interesting as well. Um, if you guys liked this video, make sure you share it. Talk to me about it. Leave some comments below. And uh, I will see you all in two Saturdays. Mm -hmm.